Hey, just a quick little video for me today. Mike sent me a bunch of links for Operation Roundup where he has written up a very nice uh, tournament review and his own games. So he's like has game bat, bat reps. Um, I'll link both in the description here down below. Um, and so uh, the, the um, thoughts. My plan today was to comment on one thing, one question that sort of popped up from the pack for Operation Roundup. They had two odd colored dice in the bag. So dice that weren't of yours or your opponent's color. And once you drew the second one, the turn was over. Now, Mike asked me to comment on that and maybe get my thoughts on it. And my initial thought was I didn't like it at all. And I think that's because as a competitive player, I like predictability. Um, you might get turns where one player is very unfortunate. One player's dice comes up first and then the two odd colored dice come up and then the other player doesn't really get a turn. Now, for me, that is too much randomness. I can understand this from a, a, um, a perspective of, well, you, you never know what you're going to get in a turn, right? So, so please do what you think is very important, which I think it does. It does create that sense that you need to do what's most important first because you might not get to do everything, right? And there are a lot of games that have mechanics that do this. I just, for a tournament game, I don't like it. I'm sorry. Um, there's also the aspect that you never know when your game is going to finish, right? You might suddenly pull those dice out all the time and your turns go really quickly. And then your game is finished an hour before time. And you just sit around waiting. Now, for a tournament, if I want to run a tournament, I want predictability. I want certain time limits so that everyone finishes on time. Everyone, like, in the same frame, okay? So, for me, that is too much randomness. I, I don't... I don't personally like it. I can see the appeal of, you know, just goofing around and and being forced to do stuff in in an order where you think this this might be oh I need to do this first I can understand that but um not for not for high level competition tournament play I, I wouldn't want to do that so anyway go read it's all brilliantly written up and uh, there's a lot to learn as well and some nice tables and pictures of image uh, of minis to look at right cheers